And tonight, advocates for Georgians battling Alzheimer's disease are begging for help as state leaders try to reduce staffing requirements for memory care facilities. 11 Alive's Brittany Klein-Peter explains why they feel this could put residents and caregivers in danger. Tonight, the Georgia Department of Community Health is considering a rule change to staffing requirements in long-term care and memory care facilities. Advocates say, though, it could be detrimental. It's not only detrimental to the residents' care, but also to the staff. Nancy Petra with the Georgia chapter of the Alzheimer's Association says currently under House Bill 987, two direct care workers are required for each unit or floor within a memory care center or assisted living facility. But under the proposed change, only two direct care workers would be required for the entire property. Because when you make the decision to no longer take care of your loved one at home because of where they are in their dementia journey, um, it's because they need more care. And they need more oversight. Caregivers like Dan Gerke, who made the incredibly difficult decision to put his wife in a memory care unit at age 60, says he fears this kind of change would put residents in danger. Even though they live within a cloud of dementia, uh, that doesn't mean they have forsaken their cleverness. They still will figure out ways to get out. Um, despite the safeguards of a locked door and a key card entrance, I saw at least a half a dozen times where residents were able to get out. Gergi says, if anything, state leaders need to be considering increasing the staffing requirement. 11 Alive asked the State Department of Community Health why the changes are being proposed but have yet to hear back. The Georgia Department of Public Health is holding a public comment period on the proposed changes and advocates are asking the public to share their input. You can find a direct link to that on our website. Reporting in Atlanta, Brittany Klein-Peter, 11 Alive News.